On a brand new Star Trek fan film, the starship Farragut visits the single planet orbiting Barnard's star, and a freighter captain spins the incredible story of a human colony on a planet orbiting the star Sirius A. The station manager also informs the captain that the planet has warmed slightly. The skeptical captain is soon ordered to Earth to pick up a member of the African Dogon tribe and then to Sirius to investigate the claim of the human colony, only to learn that it is true, but someone else is there as well, with what appears at first to be a power plant. On closer inspection however, the plant turns out to be a meat-packing facility, with human colonists on the menu. The colonists, possessing late 18th century technology, make easy prey for their reptilian captors. To make matters worse, the ship is informed that their passenger is an imposter. Now, the ship is sabotaged and the captain anticipates an attack which is not long in coming. He must rescue the humans below, but first of all he must rescue his own ship from vile aliens. This Star Trek fan film is based on Star Trek the original series by Gene Roddenberry. Some Star Trek fan films are little more that people standing around talking about social issues. If that is what you expect to see, you won't find it here. My friends, I wish I could welcome you but this is not that type of place. Human we must find a way to notify our ship so that we can escape. No one escapes from here. We are food for the Gork Empire. The one with the pointed ears is resistant. We have gotten scant information from the female. Incarcerate them with the other stock. He may be inedible. My scans show that he will probably make for a poor tasting meal. Proceed anyway. We will deal with them later. The female is a prime specimen. <laughs> <laughs>